Science Help Desk, Anna speaking. Hi, Anna. What happens inside a kangaroo's pouch? I love this question. You might think that a kangaroo pouch is just like a fancy fanny pack that mothers use to carry their babies, but kangaroo pouches are way more interesting and complex. Let's hop inside. A newborn baby kangaroo is blind, deaf, and under an inch long. Without a safe place to stay while it grows big and strong, this wormy little creature wouldn't make it. Hey! So the baby, called a joey, climbs up its mother's fur and makes its way to her pouch. This is harder than it looks. The pouch is basically a soft, warm, moist, stretchy bag that houses the newborn until it's more developed. Inside are four teats, and the joey will latch on and drink milk from one of them for around seven months. Depending on the species. The pouch may even have some antimicrobial properties to keep the baby safe from infection. The mom also regularly cleans the pouch by sticking her head inside to lick up debris. And while she's at it, she'll stimulate the baby to poop, often right into her mouth to keep everything tidy. After months inside the pouch, the joey will finally emerge and start hopping around on its own. But it will still hop in and out of the pouch for a few more months. Even when the joey is too big to fit inside, it might still stick its head in for a drink. In fact, at this point, the mother might have a new infant in the pouch, and she can actually provide different milk for each baby. Fat and protein-rich milk for the older joey, and sugar-rich milk for the younger one. Clearly, kangaroo pouches are way more than just glorified fanny packs. Though I'd argue that they're nowhere near as fashionable. Do you have a question for the Science Help Desk? Let me know, and see you next time.